Carolina grandmother is being hailed a hero tonight after saving her five year old granddaughter from a fire in Hampton. This is an amazing story. So the grandmother is now recovering at Grady Memorial Hospital after jumping to safety with a little girl from a second story window. 11 Alive's Paolo Searle has a story you'll see only on 11 Alive. From broken ankles to bruises. Look at my arm. These wounds represent a grandmother's unconditional love. If I had gone downstairs with my daughter, my granddaughter would have been um, in the fire. One week ago, Jacqueline Roberts woke up to a fire in her Hampton town home. Her daughter and grandson were able to get out, but her five-year-old granddaughter, Autumn, was still on the second floor. It was so hot, and my daughter shouted to me, Mommy, get Autumn, get Autumn. And that's what she did. Through the smoke, she was able to find Autumn. So I saw her silhouette, and then she said, Grandma, get me, Grandma, get me, Grandma. Don't leave me. By then, Robert says their only way out was through a second story window about 15 feet off the ground. She's coughing. I am coughing. She grabbed Autumn by her wrists and slowly let her go. And she said, ouch. When I jumped right, she said, ouch. <laughs> Next was Robert's turn. And I'm on the floor laying down and one feet is going this way and another feet is going this way. And my body is one way. She was rushed to Grady Hospital and had surgeries for her two broken ankles. Meanwhile, Autumn only has a few scratches thanks to her grandmother's quick thinking. I had to pinch myself to make sure I am alive. Robert says fire officials and her landlord told her the cause of the fire was electrical. And while she lost all material things in it, she feels she gained another lease on life. When the pain hit me and I want to scream and cry, I remember... I'm not in a pine box. I'm in a hospital bed. I'll be okay. Broken bones can be fixed. The dead cannot come back from being dead.